Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about our work, a non-heuristic approach to time-space trade-offs and the optimizations for BKW. First, let us recall the uh, airplane problem, which is about solving linear congruence in presence of noise. Where you know in the search version of the problem, it challenges to find out the secret x given the noisy code word, where x and uh, a are uniformly random and a is public and the noise fo follows the coordinate wise independent uh, Bernoulli distribution where mu is the noise rate. In cryptography it is more convenient to use the so-called uh, decision LPN to facilitate, facilitate uh, secretive proofs uh, and both variants are polynomially uh, equivalent. Therefore uh, for secret analysis we, we can only consider the search version. The airplane problem can be categorized by its noise. When the noise rate mu is a constant, the BKW algorithm by Blum, Kalein, and Wasserman solves it in exponential time and the sample complexities. Based on BKW, Rybyshevsky gave a meaningful trade-off which compresses the sample complexity to polynomial with a slightly lifted up uh, time complexity. And there are other variants of uh, big airplane where the noise rate decreases with respect to the dimension, but they are not uh, the focus of our paper. Let's recall the original BKW algorithm. It works in iterations. In each iteration, it classifies the samples based on the values of the first B bit of the coefficient vector. And within each group, it cancels the first B bit by sub subtracting them with the first vector. Therefore, each iteration reduces the dimension by b bit and reduces the number of samples by 2 to the b and doubles the noise rate. We summarize the complexities of the BKW algorithm. To minimize time in the sample by choosing the block size b properly, we end up with a exponential complexities which are roughly 2 to the n over log n. And it remains open if we can do trade-offs between space and time. This is uh, especially meaningful when doing, say, security evaluations of LPN-based crypto systems. If the time complexity and the space consumption is both 2 to the 80, it's not a practical estimate at all because in practice we don't have a memory of size 2 to the 80. So in, the, in addition, we, we didn't know if we can improve the exponential factor, which, which is highlighted uh, corresponding to the number of iterations. Further, we would like a more efficient approach to reduce sample complexity. In this work, we give a tree-based structure for the BKW algorithm. The original LPN samples were divided into several subsets. These subsets are mutually independent. Within each subset, the samples are only required to be pairwise independent. And this will enable you know, op sample optimization because we can use a small number of independent samples to generate a much larger number of pairwise independent samples. And in the meantime, the pairwise independence suff suffices to give a rigorous uh, estimate of the uh, complexities. And during each iteration, we pick, say, C samples, one from each parent node, and to cancel out the first B coordinates. And we do this all the way down to the root node, where we get many uh, candidates for a, sing for a single coordinate. Therefore, uh, no repetition is needed. Based on our tree-based algorithm, we get our first result, which is a trade-off between time and space. Here, this C is a tunable parameter. By changing different values for C, we get different trade-offs between time and space. And compared with the previous work, we optimize time and sample complexity by a exponential factor, which accounts for the number of reiterations in the original BKW algorithm. Further, compared with the Rybyshevsky algorithm, the time complexity is also optimized by a sub-exponential factor. 
That is very brief introduction of our work. Thank you for your time.